Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am here with my September recap of my Slimming World journey that I'm currently on and a bit of a weird one this time as throughout September I was losing however something didn't feel quite right and I think that's just because the way I wanted to start doing Slimming World kind of changed a few months ago for me. I decided why am I in such a rush to lose all this weight. I wanted to do it slow and steady. As I've said a million times in these videos, slow and steady wins the race. So, at the very end of September, I think the 28th or something, even though I've still been going every single week, I decided to rejoin as a new member. Obviously that means like it's technically a fresh start for me. I think it's been one of the things that has been in the making for a little while, but I just didn't want to admit it to myself that I needed to kind of rejoin and start from scratch. But it does now mean that my slow and steady wins the race journey. I am aiming to lose one pound each week, which in Slimming World terms, isn't necessarily what they want from you. Like most people, as you would assume, want to lose weight as quick as they can to get to that end goal, to get the target, to be where they want to be. However, I've got till next November to be at my target, which at the moment is currently over a year away. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that next August I want to be where I am right now and just starting. I just want to lose it little by little. I'm in no rush at all. So for that reason, I've decided to aim myself for £1 a week, which I'm aware won't make these videos very thrilling, which is why I've tried to make kind of extra content and just make these bits kind of short-ish just while I talk about how I've done in the month. So this is obviously September's recap. I like to make my content relevant for the month that we're currently in. And obviously October is all about the Halloween treats. If you have children, or I guess even if you don't and you want, you've got treats in for the trick-or-treaters, um, I don't have children and I have got these treats in ready to give to our trick-or-treaters. And the one thing that's really, it's good, but it's also quite annoying if you are on Slimming World, um, is leftover sweets. When you have them left over, it's so easy just to kind of pick at them. So I've tried to find some low sin treats. So then at least if you do have any treats left over, you can still add them into your Slimming World plan. You don't have to feel super guilty about what's left over and then when it comes to actually eating them. Obviously you could just give these away, that's the easy option. But if you're obviously buying in like chocolate bars and things like that, you're not helping yourself by kind of having it there as temptation. So I have found just a couple of treats. I've not gone mental um, purely just because. I also didn't want to have loads of treats in my own house because I will quite easily just snack on them. I am the kind of person where it doesn't matter how many is there, I'll probably try and eat them all rather than just the one. So I'm trying to get rid of as many as possible. But obviously for the purpose of this video, I've bought them in. One thing I will say is that a lot of the things are miniature or treat size as the supermarkets and the brands like to label them. This means that they are very, very small versions for, you know, essentially quite a few things for quite a small treat. But I have tried to advertise this towards anyone who will be taking part in trick-or-treating with kids or giving them away. So I've not done Slimming World versions. I've actually done things you can just go and buy on supermarket shelves, nice and easy, stick them in your basket and then you know that, yeah, right, the Milky Way I show you is probably about this big and it's about three and a half sins. But do you know what? At least you can have it. You're still low in sins, so if you do want them, if they are left over, you can have them. It's also quite a cheesy video to go with it. Like I say, there's not many there. I think it's about a minute long. I hope you enjoy it.
that's just a couple of things that I found on the supermarket shelves that perhaps you could incorporate into your trick-or-treat basket or just Halloween treats in general for yourself. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I will be back. Obviously now we're kind of at the, the good time of year as I like to call it. Um, I am going to be putting quite a few more foodie bits up in terms of things you can make for Christmas and uh, bonfire night etc so do keep tuned for them if you do want to see them please hit that subscribe button I'll be back next week with another video my next Slimming World video will actually be up in three weeks this is actually a week late um, purely just because I completely forgot to buy stuff in last week and um, so I ended up making another video so my next Slimming World video will be in three weeks and obviously I will be back next Thursday with another video See you guys later. Bye.